What is something you only notice when it's bad? Live sound mixing. No one looks at the sound booth guy gal until their esmic feedback. Heck it's been a movie cliche for years. The bad or newcomer bands have mixed feedback, just to signal the audience how bad they are lol. Or every scene in any show or movie when someone uses mic they test to see if it s working and it feedbacks every time. As a live sound engineer it s huge pet peeve of mine. The dust that collects on the floor trim in the house. I know it s bad when I see the huge dust bunnies in the hallways next to the trim. Your back. I sometimes catch myself thinking about not feeling any pain in my back and try my hardest to truly appreciate the fact that it doesn't hurt and I can function like a normal human on this day. In November 2017, I was rear-ended by a guy doing 70 while I was stopped. Broke 9 ribs, my shoulder blade, and my sacrum. I have low back pain every damn day. Those days when I get the I seek pain med mix just right and I get a reprieve are magical. City government. Brakes on your car. Nothing like slowly pressing on the brakes as you approach your red light to hear the demon scratching on a chalkboard. One time I was driving my father's car, but when I pressed on the brakes nothing happened and the car crashed. I was driving by myself, so I had no actual proof that the brakes didn't work. Both of my parents insisted that it was my fault and they just would not even consider the possibility that it was the brakes. I should mention that I wasn't injured and I hit a rock which was big enough to stop the car. A lie. Tap water. Air quality. Basically infrastructure. We take it for granted. But it takes 24. 7 maintenance. Electricity. Water. Roads. Food distribution. Internet. ETC. You only notice when the roads are bad because they have not been serviced. When the internet is slow. When the grocery store has few supplies. When the water is funky. When the power goes out. Considering like 3, 4 of my city is out of power, beat, and internet right now due to 2 ice storms trees power lines. This is quite true at the moment. Audio sync to video. Absolutely horrendous when it's off by just a fraction of a second from seeing the mouth move to hearing the sound. Or hearing the sound before the mouth moves. Similar to this. When the closed captions are also off by a sentence. I use CC to fill in the gaps of what I didn't hear properly and seeing the mouth move separately from the audio and then trying to read the captions that do not match and keep track of what is going on is headache inducing. Your appendix. Film editing. I recently became friends with someone who is attending film school. She opened my eyes to things I wish I never knew. Now every time I watch a movie I just notice all the bad stuff, and it ruins it. I always notice these, and I forget the technical name. But making sure an object is in the same spot through different cuts. I. E. If a coffee cup was full and handle was on the right side. The next day of filming making sure the coffee cup is full and handle on the right side. Tap water. This is why I'm glad I'm back on well water that s not really hard water. I grew up with well water and the short time I lived in town I could not stand having to drink city water. Heck even the local Chinese restaurant I cannot stand their rice because it always tastes like the overchlorinated city water. Subtitles. When you reuse to seeing subtitles you rarely notice them when they re accurate. As soon as they re bad. It's hard to focus on anything else. Subtitles are a huge problem in Spanish. Because most media that gets translated to Spanish has two dubs. One for Spain and one for Latin America. But they usually only make the subtitles for the Spain one. And you end up with subtitles saying completely different stuff. It makes me go bonkers. And is one of the reasons I learned English. I also didn't even know with translations they can potentially change entire lines of dialogue. In the French movie Adele Blanc Secretary there was a line where a guy basically say the letter J like as in Jardin which I know now as Garden, but the subtitles change it to J like Jaguar. The problem with that is Adele responds oh I have always wanted one of those which makes you think. Okay that is odd. I know the character is a tad eccentric but that is odd. But my French friend said about Garden and that they changed it and it made perfect sense that the character would want a garden. 
because she lives in an upper floor Parisian apartment, but the subtitles changed it, because they mention the letter J, and you do not spell garden with J. You only notice plot holes and inconsistencies when a film is bad. A good movie with plot holes can be forgiven, as long as it does not break your emotion in the story. When a bad movie loses you, you tend to look for other things to focus on besides the story, hence nitpicking. You only notice plot holes and inconsistencies when a film is bad. A good movie with plot holes can be forgiven, as long as it does not break your emotion in the story. Yup. Raider S of the Lost Ark has a ton of really bad strange plot holes did he really ride a submarine the whole way, but it's awesome. So things are forgiven. I will address that specific plot hole it was a Wii submarine. And early Wii as well. Which means that it would operate on the surface unless it was at risk of air attack, performing an attack, or doing a hydrophone check. Don't get me wrong. They should have submerged at some point. But it is a possibility that they didn't. The bigger question is why the heck didn't the bridge crew see him? Abuse. Everyone asks why someone would stay with an abusive partner, but 99 of the time the abuse comes in spurts and the rest of the time is fine. Abusive partners aren't abusive all the time. Trauma bonding. It's a real bitch. The good times are great. But the abuse is temporary. The ebbs and flows with the abuse and love. It's soul breaking. Too. I think we reconditioned to want it to. A love story doesn't he make an interesting movie, unless there is drama. Death. Danger. ETC. I find myself thinking a lot. Well, maybe someday I lines love. Someone like that again. But it lines never be as exciting as it was. Some combination of media and our own thrill seeking wants something exciting over something healthy. Once you've had that intense trauma bonding, it is hard to snap out of it. Some combination of media and our own thrill seeking wants something exciting over something healthy. That is what a lot of people have been conditioned to believe is normal. One of the reasons I had to give up on a former friend was her wildly unstable relationships. She alternated between abusive guys ones she could push around. Romance didn't he feel real to her, unless turmoil was involved. I just could not stomach the drama anymore. Your nose when you're sick and congested. Being able to breathe clearly is great. Feedback from people. 99 people could compliment you. And one person could say something negative. And you lines dwell on the negative comment. I feel like the problem there is ingenuine compliments. Usually when a person compliments me, they do not really mean it it's to get me to buy something or a service. But when a person insults me, they insult something that I'm genuinely worried about like how skinny and lanky I am. Or my haircut which I did myself cause well covered, and I do not particularly like it either. I dk it's 4am here, but I hope I got my point across. Breathing. Not being able to do so unwillingly for any amount of time will make you feel panic. Sports officiating. They make 99. 9 correct calls but that. One is all that gets noticed. The thing is that the one of bad calls can completely change a game. Try watching English Premier League football soccer. They introduced a new video assistant referee. Supposedly with video playback it would eradicate mistakes, but it's actually made it worse. Cinematography. All of the effort that goes into camera angles, visual cues, scene order, pace, lenses, field of view, etc. You do not even think about it. Something I then noticed about the first season of The Simpsons is that they do not do establishing shots, and they do not separate scenes with a musical sting. Despite being kinda groundbreaking at the time, it seems awkward now for some unspecified reason. Well, a component of that is bad cinematography. If you just cut from one location to another it leaves the viewer confused, makes the whole thing seem jumbled together, and that s not even live people. But it still has cinematography. Having something wrong with your order at a fast food place. You can go there 100 times and you never notice the 3 times your order was correct. Utilities. Texan here on hour 36 without power. Eat. Or water. I will never take. Being able to flush a toilet without melting snow first for granted again. About 20 years ago an ice storm knocked out the power for 10 days. 
New home ER one is coming from apartments we didn't he have any maintenance materials or tools, yet and our families lived out of state so not a lot of support. We didn't he have the gas logs installed yet waiting for the summer to get a better deal, no wood to use in the fireplace, no tools shovels, saws or hedge clippers and the 15 tall saplings had bent over from the weight of the ice and frozen to the driveway so we could not leave even if we had somewhere to go and to top it all off. I talked her into keeping my water bed. We could not even snuggle up in bed under a pile of blankets. It was a struggle but we re damn sure ready for the next time. Apparently the best thing to do is spend thousands and thousands of dollars on tools, equipment, and generator. Once you re ready for it, it will never happen again. Stay warm and may your power come home soon. Your wisdom teeth. Just got mine out, and lem tell ya those shits ducking sucked when they got bad. But even when they were grown and I didn't he notice them until they got bad. Yeah I had a bad experience with mine too. All four were impacted. The oral surgeon only got three of them out. The other one he said was so stuck that he filed it down to nothing. And if I ever have issues with it to see him. He retired and still said he'd come out of retirement to pull that out if it had to come out. That was 7 years ago, and I still think about it every now and then. Janitorial work. These people on top of keeping workplaces clean also protect us from a lot of biological risks. Unfortunately it is the standard example of what people tell their children not to be or marry into. We as a society only like to praise people who make tons of money and provide little value. The first day of kindergarten. My youngest came home so excited. Mom. Dad. Guess what? They pay someone to clean up after me at school. How cool is that? I don't have to clean up after myself at school. Needless to say we had a little chat about how important janitors are and how we should be respectful and keep things clean as much as possible. I still laughed my head off when my kid wasn't he watching though. I'm a theater costume designer. I was always taught that as people are noticing your costumes, you redoing a bad job. The costumes should seamlessly blend into the world of the show and the characters that inhabit it. Cleaning staff, or rather, the job they do. Go into any restaurant and see how people leave their tables. There is always some crumbs left, at least. And most people do not even care about how they leave the tables. I worked in a kind of housekeeping job once. Cleaning the tables in my workplace's break room after beaks. And after I overheard people saying I do not do anything. I decided to really not do anything. I didn't do my job once. And the break after that. Noon wanted to sit at the tables. Because they were too dirty. Just. You know. If restaurants didn't have cleaning staff. They'd be shut down in a week. At best. Be nice. Do not make a mess. To American audiences. Pretty much any small to medium sized country in Africa. The Middle East. East Southeast Asia, Eastern Europe, or Latin America. The pipes in your house. You never notice your plumbing until something is wrong. You do not think twice when you turn the faucet and water comes out, or flush the toilet and the poo water disappears. Then one day a leaky broken pipe happens, and it becomes your number one priority in life to fix it. <laughs> Boys, I just keep wondering what I'm going to do if they come for me. I mean when these boys were 8. Did they have had bad trays? Did they not go to school and learn the golden rule? So why are they acting like a bloody fool? If they get hot, they must get cool. I think everyone should heed caution and remember. Bad boys. Whatcha going to do? Whatcha going to do when they come for you? Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Crowds in general. You notice them either when you are speaking to the said crowd like a politician, or when you feel too lonely in one that you decide to take a glance at the people around you minding their own business while you would be drowning in your negative thoughts. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing for more videos.